Now after uh, creating the test circuit the next step is to perform the simulation right and then how to do the simulation is so first uh, no check and save the file then go to launch then launch select ADEL so where ADEL stands for analog design environment so and this will be used to you know set up the analysis uh, parameters and to check the output on the simulation window so how to do that so first uh, we have to select the analysis types so what all kind of analysis you want to check with respect to the test circuit fine so here we are using uh, we are doing a simple inverter circuit so for that uh, first we have to select the analysis fine. so to select the analysis go to analysis select choose fine in the choose option so you have uh, different types of analysis fine so you have a transient dc ac noise xf sense so dc matching analysis there are different types of analysis are there so with respect to uh, inverter we do only two analysis one is the transient and another is the its dc characteristics fine so first uh, we'll do the transient analysis where transient is the transition from input to output so what we are getting for the input corresponding to its input right so that uh, we have to uh, select so first is the transient analysis so it is asking for the stop time so I'll give it as one millisecond because my uh, pulse period is in uh, microseconds so I'll give it as milliseconds and then so accurate results are is asking so I'll select moderate fine so that's it this is for the transient analysis the input output transition fine I'll click apply so once you click apply here you can see in the analysis section uh, the transient analysis will come fine so then uh, I need DC characteristics so I'll select DC in the DC I have to select in the DC analysis I have to select the DC operating point I want to check so I'll select that then so you have to select the sweep variable because in the DC analysis you know, the sweeping uh, curve you have to plot for that you have to select the variable find that for that you have to select the component parameter okay so select component parameter in the component parameter it will ask for select the component on the circuit fine so this is select component so on the circuit you have to select the select component so DC component so select on the component so once you select it it will disappear so just hide so you have to select it on the circuit so you have to select a V in when you click on V in so on the V in we have different components right so in that you have to select the DC voltage or DC component fine just click OK so when you click OK usually that choosing analysis will be hiding so you have to open it again ADL also okay now see component name is automatically selected fine so in the select component you have it is automatically selected here you cannot type it fine you have to select automatically from the circuit so once we select this the parameter name is DC we already selected it now it is asking for the sweep range fine in the stop start stop range we have to select so start range is 0 volt and maximum is I can expect is 1.1 volt because my DC is maximum is I've given is only 1.0 volt so the sweep range I'm giving it as 0 to 1.1 so sweep type is let it be automatic now click OK for uh, in inverter transmission sorry inverter circuit I only checking for two analysis that is one transient and DC so let's click OK now we have selected the analysis types now you have to select the outputs so what you want to plot on the output and I want to set this transient and DC but these are the analysis but what you want to see on the output window or the curves and that you have to select whether you want input on the you know, uh, simulation window or the output only the output or only the input or the any other you know uh, components you want to select you have to select it so for that you have to go to output in the output you have to select to be plotted so what you want to plot on the 
simulation window right so it is asked for select on design you have to select it on the design fine so now I want input line on my plotting and I want to plot the output line so you have to select input line as well as output line okay fine so once you select input output line you just come back to ADE so it usually it will be hiding so now we have selected the input output lines so net phi is actually the this line and V out is the output line here you have selected now this is the output line and now I have selected both now I can plot the circuit sorry plot the results so to plot the results so net list and run is the option just click on this now the results will be plotted okay you can see now the results are plotted see so now the results are plotted okay the results are plotted just say is the input and output this is the DC characteristics so usually uh, in the transient analysis both the inputs and outputs are overlapped so you have to uh, separate these strip lines so how to do this is just select the output curves then uh, select this option split all the strips if you select this so the input output will going to separate so as you can see the this is the input lines and this is the output lines right for so you can see this is the inverter outputs so for one so you are getting zero volt and right? for zero volt you are getting 1.1 volt so that means you are getting the proper output again in the same way in the DC analysis also the maximum sweep you can expect from 1.1 volt to zero right so this is the DC line curve line this is a operating point yes so once you get this output this is the pre layout sorry pre layout simulation results this has to be saved so how to save this is go to print option in the print option so it is asking to print to file PDF so it usually it will take it in the PDF file then it is asking how to the output file uh, save where to save the file so you can save this file in the name of inverter pre so inverter pre is the name I have given okay so is this is my folder in the cadence test VLSI is my folder inside that it is saving this file just click on print so just click on the print it will save the file so you can uh, verify that file also by just going to going into your folder so inside the cadence I have a test VLSI this is my folder inside this folder see so inverter pre it is actually saved as a PDF so if you open this here you can see this is the input output as well as DC curves so whatever the uh, the parameters that you have plotted on the uh, simulation window everything will be printed into PDF file fine here you can see so that is how you have to take this as a printout and you can paste it and as a record you can keep this file okay this is all with respect to pre layout simulation fine